No one else there saw it Just Gabriel as he fell Jeremy's ghost, the man he killed As the keeper rang the bell Flashback to Las Vegas He promised to make someone pay And what went down in the seventh round Shouldn't have gone that way the most recent album, which isn't out yet, is all songs about Glasgow, and there's six songs that I thought were absolutely, definitely going on the album, and the producer was like, nope, nope, that's a band song, that's a band song, we've decided that this album's just going to be, um, like, just guitar and vocal and maybe a couple of other things, so keep those and they're for the next one, or maybe you'll have another idea and they'll be used in the future. So that was quite a liberating thing, because then you're not worried, you can just write and it doesn't matter. How important do you find it <clears throat> to create like a sort of statement of intent? So you're saying like the there's a, a lyrical key there. Uh -huh. So at, w at what point do you try and do that within the first verse to go, this is where we are here and the image is strong and carries through the rest? I probably do go that way quite soon. Um, I probably do. With this one, I definitely did. With other ones, I, 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 with other ones, it isn't until I look back on them much later that I go, "Oh wow, that's really funny." All the, all the languages, the language of the sea or autumn, you know, or whatever. But you try and try and keep all your language the same. Um, it just makes it resonate a bit more. It, it, it kind of, it makes it 3D almost. He ignored the premonition. Let a candle set a prayer. That's another thing as well. Don't be afraid of like tearing it up and you don't need to anymore and moving a verse. Um, very often, uh, second verse syndrome. Has anyone heard of second verse syndrome? It's a really common one where you write this killer first verse and an amazing chorus and it's like, yes. And then you go to write verse two and it's like, oh, well, I'll just go and have a bath and uh, go for a walk. Go for a wee jog or something, and it's like three years later and it's still just there. And usually what's happened is you've written the last verse, because it's perfect, you've summed it up. And so you just take that verse, make that the end, and then write the two verses or verse before it. Her name is Noel, I have a dream about her. She rings my bell, I've got pee in half an hour. Oh, how she rocks in her gym kit and socks. And she doesn't know who I am. And she doesn't give a damn about me. I went with a guy called Nick Turner, who owns a studio up north called Watercolour Music. His attitude was, let's just write stuff. And we wrote just a complete hodgepodge of totally bizarre and, and different songs we never really stuck so we had some things that sounded like traditional Scottish stuff we had stuff that sounded like Elvis Costello and the Attractions or Michael Mara or just it was a weird mix it was very freeing but I guess there is a point that happens when you realize that um, that your audience will quite happily come with you do you know what I mean? If they hear you growing, they'll they'll mm -hmm. they'll usually come with you, unless you do something completely bananas, um, which I have to say I never did. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's missing. She doesn't know what she's missing. And she doesn't know what she's missing. Thank you.